Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage, and I would like to start the show by saying, that just happened. Oh, and Menomino. Okay. <laughs> it's wired in now. We'll never get forward. Gosh. I was just thinking, everybody I love is here. <laughs> all the people who said, oh, no, I can't make it this week have shown up, and I'm, I'm so glad you're here, all of you who have made it out this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and you, and you, and little Timmy, and all of him. One of my friends is not here. He's never actually been. His name is Dave, and he's out of uh, New Orleans. And Dave, it, TJ, you're going to grow up to be Dave. You, you just don't know it. No, he's like an event management genius. Hi, Dave. Uh, he's like an event management genius. And he puts shows together. And I got to do shows with him for a couple of years. And he's this amazing guy who, he understands the magic we create here, where stuff just at the last minute works out. Because, well, when no one's looking, we run like crazy and fix it. So that, that's kind of his thing. So I'm backstage at this show in the, in the green room. And we're sitting back there. And Dave, is at, it's, it's late in the weekend. And he's like this. And he's just sitting there in the chair. And I'm thinking, oh, man, he's working hard. OK. And this guy walks in the room, just booms in the door and says, Dave, we have a problem. And Dave does this. <laughs> and runs out of the room, leaving me with my mouth kind of doing this. <laughs> and I said, there were five other people there who knew him really well. And I said, What's with nothing? They're like, you're going to have to ask him yourself. <laughs> okay, I have to go ask. So I chase him the rest of the weekend. And finally, at the tail end of this, we're sitting in a room. I'm like, hey, Dave. He's like, what? I said, what's with interpretive dance? He says, Dave is switched on. And I, of course, go, and he says, sometimes Dave, and I love how he speaks about himself in the third person. <laughs> Dave is switched on, and sometimes Dave just needs to remember when there's a crisis to switch himself on and fix it. And then he leans over and bows, and his hair flips up like it's been shaved all the way up the back. And I kid you not, I see the coolest tattoo I've ever seen of a light switch permanently in the on position. <laughs> Dave is a genius, and he is always switched on. I was brushing my teeth today. And this is, and, and, and yes, good oral hygiene is important, internet. Whoosh. Normally I just swig vodka and spit, I know. <laughs> but I, I Ladies and gentlemen, the hecklers. One point awarded to the hecklers. It smells like vodka, you'll notice. So I'm sitting there and brushing my teeth, and I realize that you know when you have an epiphany, it's really when a realization hits a moment where you're distracted enough not to just blow it off. And I'm standing there brushing my teeth and going, man, Dave is switched on all the time. That is awesome when you're in a crisis. And on Wednesday, when he's picking up his dry cleaning, God, he must be impossible. And I look in the mirror. <laughs> and I have that moment. And I realize there is no, I'm not a genius, but that off position, I don't have one either. Either do a lot of my friends. That's what I love about them. That is what I love about you guys. That is true. That is true. But I will, I will tell you one thing. Each and every week, you switch me on right here, right here at the open stage. And I thank you for that.